Amen. All right, in 1 Corinthians 1, though I speak with the tongues of men and angels and have not charity, I become as a sounding brass and a tinkling cymbal. Amen. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and through and though I have all faith, so that I would remove, I could remove mountains, and have not charity, I am nothing. Amen. And though I bestow all of my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burnt, and to have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Amen. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity wanteth not itself is not puffed up, does not behave itself unseemingly, seeketh not her own, uh, seeketh not her own, it us is not, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but Amen. rejoiceth in the truth, bearing all things, believing all things, hoping all things, enduring all things. Now that's a lot to say. Charity never faileth. Amen. But where there it be prophecy, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. And whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part Shall, shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Amen. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. Amen. And now charity now availeth faith, hope, and charity. These three, but the greatest of these is charity. Amen. Now, we identify the word charity as love. We use it as, uh, we use the word love like we do today with charity. But he's talking this morning about a spiritual love. It's not a fleshly love because a fleshly love, you can't depend on it. Right. It's it's here and there and for self and everything else. And we see some of the qualifications or some of the things that this word charity stands for. And uh, you can you can think on, on, on all day long and never get to the point where you say, well, that's me. Because listen, uh, in my in my condition, in my warfare, in my state where that I am with the with the with the flesh to deal with there's no way this morning that I myself can do this it's right. only by the help of God and by the help of the Lord Jesus Christ and the, the wood of the Holy Spirit that speaks to my soul and my heart and warns me against these things that are coming around and that the devil is trying to entice me to do and listen people this morning brothers and sisters the devil is much on on the warpath this morning. Amen. And that's it's his it's his desire this morning to upset the whole the whole church this morning. Sure. He could possibly do it, but praise the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ and God is taking care of him, and uh, it's like you know he he does just exactly what that they give him permission to do. And so this morning I want to thank the Lord this morning for letting us be together and, and to come here to worship and to uh, for all of the blessings that he's blessed this church with and we this morning we need to think upon this charity this morning because there are so many times that we have an opportunity to share our love with others not only in giving uh, worldly possessions but even speaking the word of God to them right uh, and we fail miserably and so this morning, we want to go through this chapter just a little bit, make a few comments on it, and uh, and, and and maybe that uh, the Lord the, the Lord will bless uh, this morning. So uh, there's no 
I said maybe, and I, I, I use the word, I don't need to use that word maybe, but the Lord will bless. Though I speak with the tongues of men. Now notice here what he's saying, men. And of angels. Now again, when he, when he, when he, when he uses the word men, we can kind of uh, say, well, men don't always speak the truth. Men, uh, men's got this thing that's called a tongue, and uh, it's a deceiver. It's a liar, right. and uh, you have no. James says you, you, it's 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 unrulable. But here he says he includes angels, and we think of angels as perfect beings and this. But he he includes the angels with men. He says, though I speak with the tongue of men and of angels, and have not charity, and so. This one thing, love, is the is the flower of the cake. It's the it's the main ingredients. Amen. If you don't have love, if you don't have, you can't make a cake without flour. And you put in there and kind of uh, uh, make it taste love. But you've got to have that. And here, what he's saying this morning is, we've got to have charity. We've Amen. got to have love. And we so many times. Let this flesh overpower our spirit, and we do not let our spirit connect with another spirit or or have mercy on another person, and to the point that we uh, we don't do the, the the let the spirit do what it wants to. And so he says, though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I become as a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal, right. just a noise. No certain thing, and you can let Donna get on that piano over there and hit one of those keys, hit one of those keys, hit one of those keys. That's what he's talking about. It's just a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. It don't have nothing. It don't have nothing. And if she had a, 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 a tin can of fur with a stick and she started beating on it, and beating on it, you wouldn't, you know, you 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 couldn't get nothing out of that. You'd say, well, I guess she's uh, she's going crazy, or I guess there's something wrong with her because she just she ain't doing it. And this is what he's saying here: it becomes as a tinkling sound, or I mean, a, a, a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And so this automatically tells us this morning we must have love in our heart and Amen. the only way that we can have love in our heart is to stay in tune with the the spirit of god and that and that that comes into our hearts through the holy spirit and stays in our heart and we have a love with one another and we have this spirit inside of us that's saved that wants to have this love, but so many times we have this old ugly flesh, right? And and it does these things that it shouldn't do, and it it kind of copes the spirit and won't let it do what it wants to. Now I want to, uh, you know, I, and I I, I want to read something to you this morning. Over, if you would turn with me to Romans seven uh, 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 this morning, or, or, or yeah, seven. Notice what Paul says here about himself. Now he's saying this about himself and people. He was the one that was sent to uh, preach the gospel uh, and to the Gentiles. And he says here in verse, uh, let me look and see. Uh, 14. For we know that the law is spiritual. But I am carnal, sold under sin. Right. Now that's, 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 he's talking about the flesh. For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that do I. Now right. he's talking about this morning, this old flesh, this old flesh this morning that has not been saved never will be saved right and the only way that this this old flesh can ever get to be in heaven with with the glorified with the with a glorified body is it's got you, 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 you it's got to die and it's got to pay the sin debt for the wages of sin is death and it's got to pay that debt and so it right now listen it wants to be out yonder doing something else. Mm -hmm. It wants to be over yonder enjoying something, drinking, eating, uh, 
playing, doing anything, but it don't want to be here. Right. It don't want to be here. And, and you know, people say, well, I, I, I believe my flesh wants to be here. Well, listen, you just ain't got it, you ain't got it hooked up into it just like you, because this flesh, this flesh is, is, is unsaved sin. Amen. It's, 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 and so, listen, that's the thing about what Jesus Christ did while he was here on this earth. He completed the work in his flesh. And he that was the completed work. He did everything perfect in that flesh. And listen, this flesh can't do it. Right. So we have to accept the fact that Jesus Christ went through this world all of his life. And he kept the law. He kept everything. He did everything right. And listen, when he died on the cross, he said it's finished. Right. He mm -hmm. said that because, hey... His life was finished. He had completed the job that God sent him to do. And listen, the only way that we can we can be in the in the in the body of Christ is to believe in that work that he did. Because listen, Amen. we cannot do the work that he did. We cannot Amen. obtain salvation on our own. We have to do it through Jesus Christ. And here's Paul, and he said, Oh wretched man, listen, notice here what he says in verse 24. O oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? Now, mm -hmm. he's, he's showing you this morning that the body is nothing, but of, it's, it's of the body of death. It's going to die, and it's going to go to the ground and rot. And one day, that body will come forth as a glorified body. Amen. But now, it's got to pay that debt. And so, he says here, he says... Uh, this body of death. I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind, I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh, the law of sin. Right. And so we can we can say what we will, and we can say, well, I know that I'm 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 good in the flesh. I and you know I've I've known people and play bless their heart, they, they didn't know what they were saying, but they said, I didn't sin in 15 years. Huh? I had, I, you know, that's what they would say, and hey, I, I'm ready to go. Listen, they're deceived. Right. They're not rightly dividing the scripture. Amen. And, and, and so, we see here, as we get back into our lesson in, in 1 Corinthians 13, this thing of love has got to be the main thing in our life. And so, he says, in verse 2, though I speak Though I have the gift of prophecy, and I understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, now listen, so that I could remove mountains. Now that's faith. Amen. Amen. And the Lord says, he speaks to us in, uh, uh, about uh, moving mountains and things of this thing, but Paul didn't have it, mm -hmm. uh, because he said, if I did have it. No, notice what he says here. He says, uh, if, in, in, uh, uh, un, uh, and understand all this and all knowledge and through, and though I have all faith so that I can remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. Right. And so he had to have this love in his heart. So here this morning uh, in verse three, and though I bestow all of my goods to feed the poor, now here again, people want to pat themselves on the back, and and, and listen, I'm not criticizing. Uh, they they may they they doing they doing maybe doing what they they think is right. But listen, this thing right here, feeding the poor, it's it's a good thing. It's a it's a thing that we need to do because we love the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. But listen, it's not. It's not a thing that we need to do to try to get the pats on the back of uh, uh, other people or just to, like it says there, about boasting and, and vaulting ourselves. We don't need to do that. We don't even need to think in that way. Of, Amen. You know, if we want to give a drink of water to some poor soul out here is thirsty, we need to do it because we love them and in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And that way, listen, the flesh cannot get no... Uh, 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 it can't glory in it. So here he says, and uh, to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, 
it profiteth me nothing. Right. And so this morning, it, it comes down to this. If we don't love, if we haven't got love in our hearts for our brothers and our sisters, if we haven't got love even for that poor soul out there that's lost and in the ditch or that's sitting up on the king's throne and he thinks he's got the world by the tail in the downhill drag, listen, if we haven't got a love for them not to try to get what they've got, but a love to talk to them about their soul, if we haven't got that, Listen, we need we need to be confessing and, Amen. and our, our sins. We that's what we need to do. We we need to confess and tell the Lord Jesus Christ, "Hey, I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry." Because listen, uh, you know, uh, sometimes I, I get to the point where that uh, I just have to I just have to say, "Lord, I'm sorry," uh, because I you know there's so many things that goes on, and the devil just slips in so many things and all this. And I get to the point sometimes for, and when this, when this, when this word here goes to bouncing back at me, and when, when I, I have all of these troubles with this, listen, I know, I know there's something I need to do. Right. And that's what I have to do. And so he says here in verse uh, three, it profited him nothing. And in verse four, he says, charity suffereth long. And I think this is one of the main things this morning especially, especially with the church. Mm -hmm. We need to suffer along with one another. Mm -hmm. Listen, I can't please you all the time. You can't please me all the time. Your flesh is going to see false with my flesh. And I'm, I'm going to go away sometimes thinking, well, what in the world, what's going on there? And listen, what we need to do is say, Satan, phew, because that's the flesh. Right. Because our spirit this morning needs to say, well, I'll pray for them. Mm -hmm. Because listen, I've been, I've done the same thing in a different way. I've, I've, I've caused people to say, well, he, he's, he's off. He's, there's something wrong with him. What's wrong with him? Well, listen, I need prayer. <laughs> I need prayer. And when, yeah. when, when I see, when you see me going around here and, and doing things that I don't need to be doing, I need prayer. Mm -hmm. And listen, I need someone to come to me and with a heart of love and say, could I talk to you? Mm -hmm. And so uh, this morning, love covers a multitude of sins. Amen. <clears throat> and so here this morning, charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Notice it says, and it's kind. And you can tell, you can tell a person with a love, a, a, a love in your heart uh, 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 about something maybe that they need to be corrected on with, with a heart of love. Mm -hmm. And you can also be like the old flesh wants you to be, haughty. Say, yeah, I'm going to tell them a, a thing or two because I know they're wrong and I know I'm right. Listen, that's the flesh for you. Right. And it's got a haughty, haughty, haughty spirit. And so, first of all, this morning, I would, I would suggest to anybody, if they want to say anything to anybody, take your time. Mm -hmm. Pray about it. And ask the Lord to give you that love that you need to, to talk to Him and, and, and to make things uh, for that you can talk to Him. Because if you don't, it makes it worse. Mm -hmm. And so, here we go. Notice again in verse uh, 4. It says that charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Don't desire what you've got. Charity volunteth, or don't brag, not itself, is not puffed up. Don't go around boasting and all this. So these are some of the things this morning that we have to be aware of when we're, we're trying to serve the Lord doth not behave itself unseemingly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil. Amen. Now I'll tell you what, this thing right here of, of eat not easily provoked, that's something that if a person has got that, that control over his flesh, He's blessed. Amen. Because that flesh, that flesh can get provoked. It can be provoked at your wife, 
at your mother, right? At the, all of them. It, I mean, hey, it has no, it has no uh, boundaries. It, it, uh, it, it'll provoke you again, a, a, a poor soul that's half crazy out there. Mm -hmm. uh, and it will. Mm -hmm. Listen, people, uh, that's that's the flesh for you, and it's it's so ugly. And and here it says here it provoketh not, uh, and is not puffed up. Now notice five. Do, doth not behave itself unsly. I'm going to read that. Verse 6. Rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. Amen. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. And so here's some of the things this morning that, that you can uh, check yourself out with. Do you... Uh, do you bear all things, believe all things, hope all things, endure all things? Well, if you endure all things, listen, uh, that's that's a blessing because there's not a whole lot of people that can do that. Now, charity never faileth, but where there is prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there's where there be tongues, they shall cease, and whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. Now, I want you to see something here. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, uh, not the full thing, but just part. But when that which is perfect Amen. is come, then that which is in part shall be done away with. And, and this word perfect, I looked it up, and in the Greek reference it says the end, the perfect. And so I, I had read it all the time, and I was thinking, well, talking about Jesus. But listen, it's, 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 I don't think it's that. I think that this, this part, it, it's not the, 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 uh, the, the part may be the, the, when the flesh and the spirit unite together, then all will be clear because he says down here in verse uh, 12, for now we see through a glass darkly. Right. Uh, we don't see the clear picture. And we got to go by faith. And listen, that's where that love will help you through faith to go on and, and, uh, uh, and serve the Lord. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even also as I, I am known. And now abideth hope, uh, abideth faith, hope, and charity. These three, but the grace of these is charity. Now, in, in the book of uh, Galatians, I believe it is, Galatians 6, I'm going to read just one little, little thing to you here uh, uh, concerning this charity. And I mentioned it, but anyway, the, the writer of uh, Paul says, Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one, in the spirit of meekness. Now here's the here's the here's the good part about it. He says, considering thyself. Amen. Now listen, why did he say considering thyself? Well, you were overtaken in the fault. Mm -hmm. Listen, when you were born into this world, you had a spirit of the devil within you. And listen, you had you had to have that spirit. The, uh, the, that that spirit of the devil removed from your spirit by the blood of Jesus Christ, and so here uh, again we we still are we still have so many uh, things that we are uh, overtaken in, and so when we are overtaken, we we come to the Lord and say, Lord, I'm sorry. All right, now. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in the fault, you which are spiritual, if, if we see that fault, we're supposed to, to, to help him just like that the Lord Jesus Christ helped us and, and as, is helping us each day. And so what he's trying to say is, brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, and, and that is one of my problems all the time. I'm, I, I, I have these problems being overtaken in faults, and I have to, I have to ask forgiveness I have to ask, tell the Lord, I'm sorry that I did these things. But the thing of it is, if I have, if somebody can come along and speak to me like we were talking about a while ago and help me with this thing, that's better. That's that's good too. And right. so, if you have an opportunity to help someone, 
that's overtaken in a fall, you need to do it with a heart of love. And he says here, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Right. And so when you turn up your nose to someone that's in trouble out here and don't try to help him, or if he asks you to help him, listen, what's going to happen? He says, consider yourself. Mm -hmm. You consider yourself because, listen, the, the, the finger that you point, the thumb's going to come right back at you. And so you're going to be, you're going to have a problem also. So he says, bear you one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. Now I want to read something else to you this morning and we'll, we'll close. But in first, first John, let's look at first John, just a minute over here in three and 14. Okay. We know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brethren and he that loveth not his brethren abideth in death. So this morning he was talking over here in the, in the lesson about this uh, uh, love that we should have and here's one of the ways that we can check ourselves out this mm -hmm. morning. Uh, you know, you don't have to go around uh, all your life and say, well, I wonder if I love so-and-so. You can tell by the way that your, your, your heart goes out to them, or if it doesn't, then listen, you need to check yourself because there may be something a little bit wrong there. Right. But here's what the Bible says about it. Uh, here in, uh, in 14, he says here, we know that we have passed from death unto life, and this is salvation, because we love the brethren, and he that loveth not his brethren abideth in death. Whosoever hateth his brethren is a murderer. Mm -hmm. And you know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. So hereby perceive we the love of God because he laid down his life for us. And we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. Now, Amen. in, in uh, 1 John 1, 4. 1 John 4, 1. First John four, four. I'll this to you. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, and that's what I was telling you about horrible, in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ come in the flesh is not of God. Right. And this is the spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come. And even now, already, is it in the world. Right. Ye are the children, ye are, ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Amen. So this morning... You have the Holy Spirit within you. And listen, that's the one that comes and comforts you. And that's the one that warns you. And that's the one that talks to you. And listen, this morning, you listen to that. But it also says you try the spirits. And listen, if someone comes to you, uh, you need to consider them and try that spirit before you put a whole lot of uh, 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 confidence in them, people. Because listen, it says here that the world is full of them and they, they've come to uh, 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 in the world and and, and I'll, I'll get back to it in a minute. He says, believe not every spirit but try the spirits where they ever got for many false prophets have gone out into the world. So this morning, if you have the love of God in you, you, you have the ability to try the spirits mm -hmm. and you say, well, I didn't know I, yes, you have. And you know, a lot of times when somebody comes to you and you have that gut feeling, they say, you have that feeling about things. Listen, you be careful. Mm -hmm. You watch yourself because listen, the devil comes in many, many shapes and forms mm -hmm. and he can deceive you very easily. And so uh, I hope this has uh, been a little something that will love. Uh, encouraging. I hope this will be something that will make you uh, remember some the last time that you studied that and I hope it will be a help to you. Uh, we thank you for listening. Amen.